Hello everyone, welcome back or welcome to At Home Cooking if it is your first time joining us. Thank you. Today I will be showing you how to make a very simple pie crust recipe by hand. I won't lie, the first time I attempted pie crust, I thought I was committing a crime how I botched it. But over time I did learn it to be very simple and it was all in my head. As long as all your ingredients are really, really cold throughout. I have used this pastry dough recipe for many things such as chicken pot pie and all kinds of fruit dessert pies. The possibilities are endless. So stick around and I'll show you how to make a simple pie crust recipe by hand right at home. Pie crust. Today is all about pie crust, but not this kind or the video would be too short. Starting with two and a half cups of flour, fluff out your flour, spoon it into your measuring cup, then level it out with the back of the spoon or a knife and boom, accurately measured flour. After you have your flour, place the bowl into your refrigerator for 15 to 20 minutes or while you're preparing your butter and shortening. Followed by two tablespoons of sugar and one teaspoon of salt. Make sure your sugar and salt are mixed throughout with a nice stir. I have a half a cup of very, very cold butter flavored shortening and a shredded frozen stick of butter. Add those to your flour. Make sure you have removed all of that frozen butter, all that goodness from your shredder. It will stick to your shredder because it is frozen. So make sure you get it all out. And I like to toss my fat with my flour for a little bit to try to coat everyone with some flour before I go ahead and with a pastry cutter and cut the butter and the shortening into the flour. If you do not have a pastry cutter, please use two forks or you can even get in there with your hands and kind of like pinch the flour and the fat together. Cut that until there are pea sized bits covered in flour. If there are a few large chunks, that is perfect. You want that, can't stress it enough. It creates flavor, layers of flavor. It's wonderful, it's amazing. Also, please do not overwork the dough at this point, okay? Stop short of what you think you need to do. Up next, I have a cup of ice cold water. Yes, water with ice in it. I will end up using about a half a cup of this, taking a splash or a tablespoon at a time, drizzling that over my dough and stirring it after every addition gently. You want to rinse and repeat until you've added in about a half a cup of your ice cold water or until the dough is just holding together. All I can say is trust the process. The reason I got good, and I say that loosely, okay, at making pie crust is trusting the process and keeping at it. My mama always taught me practice makes perfect. So practice, practice, practice. Now with our hands, we are just going to gently press the dough and try to pull it together. I did a little knead. You don't necessarily need to do this now, but I was trying to get my dough to stick together. And then onto a lightly floured surface, you want to transfer the dough and begin to pull it together. Now onto the fun part. I am no pastry chef, so please be gentle with me in the comment section below. I just love working with my hands and this is a great opportunity. Here you really want to try and pull your dough together and gently fold and knead to make sure you create those beautiful layers of flavor and fat. If you find that your dough is still a tad crumbly or dry, you know, dip those little fingers right on in that ice cold water and continue to work that into the dough, kneading and folding the dough over on itself to create those beautiful layers that we all know and love in pie crust. A tip for success, add water as needed. I found in my crust making days, it's all about how it feels. After a couple of attempts, mistakes, and victories, you will know when to add more water and when to hold back. The dough should absolutely come together easily and should not feel overly sticky. If you found though that you've added too much water, you can save the dough. You'll just sprinkle some more flour and then continue to bring the dough together. Once your dough has finally come together, form a ball and flatten slightly into a disc shape. Grab one of your pastry dough's best friend cling wrap or wax cloth and wrap that dough up tightly and place it in the refrigerator for at least two hours or until you are ready to use it. Although we aren't taste testing anything in this video, I did want to leave you with this. For it is by grace are you saved through faith, not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. You can find that in Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8. 
Jesus Christ died for sins, my friend. Please accept the free gift of salvation. I will see you in the next video. Heads up, we are making apple pie. Until next time. Thank you.